<laughs> Look, it's the beans again. While I didn't like these due to their, you know, mediocre sound, crappy placement of the touch controls, the uh, cheap nasty case, and you know, the lies by Samsung saying it has noise cancelling, it doesn't. But I still like that they exist. You know, I like the idea of them. Headphones or earbuds that feel like they disappear. You know, you get a background soundtrack during your day, but it doesn't feel like you got anything in your ears. These feel like you have beans in your ears. I mean, they're not awful. They're just super mediocre for what Samsung promised and, uh, you know, especially for what they cost. But have you ever wanted a pair of headphones that are socially unacceptable to wear inside? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, you silly goof. These are sunglasses, hey? You can tell because if you look really close, they're sunglasses. But these aren't any regular sunglasses. These are the Bose Audio Sunglasses. The idea of them is that you just put them on and hear music, yet those around you hear nothing, all the while genuinely having nothing in your ears. I do a lot of stuff here. It's like drums, motorbikes, frank wrangling, and lifting heavy things at the gym. I lift, man. Those deadlift bars are nasty. But that means I take my sunnies with me everywhere. So knowing that I have the ability to put on low key background music that no one else can hear is amazing. Oh, all my Darren's rattling off another work cute story. Luckily I can just put on some tunes and not be rude. Did I ever tell you about the time I found a loose McDonald's sauce packet under the wet carpets of the work cute when I rolled it through the barn house and got chicken food right up to the dashboard? Save that servo sausage roll that day. As a pair of sunnies, they are 100% comfortable. They they really don't feel any different. I mean, that's why the ends are shaped like this. That's where your ears rest. And yes, we, it's hard to ignore the chunkster arms. <laughs> you know, all the guts have to go somewhere. Look, there's the speakers right there. And all the people I showed, I mean, they didn't think it was that big of a deal. Walking into places, no one went, oh, hey, what's that all about? Whoa. Honestly, I think I got more reactions to the beans than these. <laughs> Although they don't fold very well and I can't hang them off my shirt like I usually do. The lenses are polarized, which is amazing for glare and such. And you can even swap them out for prescriptions. But who cares? They're sunnies. Woo, big whoop. How do they sound? Gosh, get the beans out of here. They're stinking up the video. Both, yeah, they have a real legacy for making audio gear. I mean, the quiet comforts, they're a staple of noise cancelling over ears. And uh, I gotta say, these sound way better than you think they would. Wait, like they're actually super delightful when you put them on. My first reaction, and literally everyone else's reaction who I asked to put them on was like, oh, Wow, they feel like regular glasses, but you're listening to music. Like the speakers aren't even close to your ears. It's like a whole new experience. But there is a big asterisk on the goodening of this sound. There is no sub bass at all. And I literally mean none. I now have songs that just have big slabs of silence in them because what was there just doesn't exist anymore. That means the kick can be flappy sounding as there's no super low end to it to like beef it up. Uh, interestingly, if I cut my hands behind my ears, I get way more bass. So, you know, cue the image of me crouched in a room with sunglasses on with my hands over my ears going, oh mate, I'm really hearing it now. But I've explained in other headphone videos that most of the instruments and vocals in music live in the mids and upper range. And these areas sound great and like, yeah, the sound isn't even on par with like some $50 SR850s by Sammy. But the experience of literally wearing nothing on your ears is super fun. I mean, it reminded me of trying VR for the first time. You know, I've played games before, but not like that. I've listened to music before, but not like this. But super open headphones, I mean, these being the most open headphones I think possible at the moment, let piles of noise in and they don't create a sealed chamber for bass to thrive in. So, you know, I'm not mad. It makes sense why the bass is like this. It's called physics. These tiny speakers are so far away from your ear. I can't believe they sound as good as they do. Uh, single button here. You press it once to turn it on. Double press to go to the track forward. Triple press to go back. That's handy. Uh, the volume is genius. <laughs> You just swipe along it like this. It can be a little bit clunky, but it totally works. There's a slew of stuff that comes with, and, and this is when it actually gets like a bit lame. Uh, you, you get, you get, oh, there you go. Uh, you get this gigantic manual, which I actually haven't looked at at all. Not, not even a little bit. Symboli clavis. Uh, you get a very nice bum wipe. I mean, for once, finally, a product that should come with something of like this. I haven't used that either. Uh, and it frames. Power on the frames. I figured that out myself, to be honest. Uh, yes, it does have an app, and it was cool that app, like, my iPhone was like, hey, there's an app, do you want to install it? Annoyingly, it wants, like, your email and stuff, 
it just doesn't need your email. Like, I'm sick of apps asking for that stuff because where do you think spam comes from? It's from both selling your email. Cut it out, Bose. Blah, 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 wah, wah, wah. And it comes with this stupidly dinker short cable that I've ever seen, you know, in USB-A, like, Bose, just let it go. USB-C already. But hey, at least they gold plated. Hey, while well, you're at it, Bose, mate, why don't you gold plate my leg as we're just doing it for pointless fun? Couldn't spring for the USB-C, but then they'll gold plate the worst option. And finally, we have a case. Woo! But combined with this, it's just a recipe for disappointment. I mean, real quick, let's talk how to charge it, right? It's got this really weak Apple MagSafe bootleg spec whatever, right? And then, then you line it up on here and then like, there you go, it's charging. It doesn't feel like a very good connection. And again, lame USB-A, just let it go already. Look, it comes off so easily. Then I'm looking at the case and it's just a case. Nothing, not even a clever one. Like it's huge. Look, the, the inside's not even that nice. Put them in the home like that. Da, da, da. There's heaps of spare room in there. It seems massive. Like its only purpose is just to stop people from stepping on it. And I'm sure a lot of you guys go, well, it's a case, mate. What do you want from it, hey? Next you'll be asking to drive it in the local Bannings for the sausage sizzle. Unreasonable expectations. But to me, Apple has stamped down what a case is meant to be with wearable technology. It's a home for it. Somewhere for them to charge, even if you aren't near a wall outlet. All you gotta do is charge the case. The AirPods are always ready to go inside. I mean, even the lousy beans pulled this off. I mean, this case isn't that great, but at least it functions in that way. This does nothing. And like the dude, what an annoying issue this is. Let's talk battery life. It gets about five and a half hours of battery life, which isn't heaps, but let's face it, you're not gonna use it for all of that every single day, I'm sure. But for me, the issue is when you forget to charge them one night. You know, these are sunglasses. You're bound to forget to charge them. Surely a 2020 problem if there ever was one. Oh, it's truth, no, my sunglasses went flat again. You know, like why isn't this a charging case or at least a dock of some sort? You know, so that you always want to put them in there. You know, maybe plug into the case and that's how you, I don't know. And with the five and a half hours of battery these things have, they can't live in their case because more likely every single night they're gonna be on the charger, which means they can't be in there. You're probably gonna have to buy an extension cable for this. It's pathetically short. And like wireless charging isn't even a new thing anymore. You know it's old when Apple's been doing it for a couple of years, right? Android's been doing it for donkey's years. Like imagine if this was a battery case with wireless charging. You just come home, sit the case down, that's it. Like Bose, we would pay extra for that. And right, let's talk cost. They were 400 Aussie dollary dues. Most expensive Sonys I've ever owned, that's for sure. And like for this money, you could get a set of genuine Ray-Bans and some AirPods. And so like add an extra 80 bucks to make the case not an absolute useless piece of whatever it is. Like it's already expensive. Why not just make it good? And worse still, they only have basic splash and sweat protection, right? So if these land in a the toilet, they land in the bin. No full waterproofing, which is a drag as these will be amazing at the beach. They also claim that no one can hear your music. So I thought that's some sort of really special stuff going like, it's why they're shaped like this and you know, all this sort of stuff. Uh, but no, they bleed like mad. <laughs> like, I had an old mate over, like, and he was sitting across, I have a big couch, right, he was sitting across the other end. I could happily tap along with whatever he was listening to from the other side of the room, right? Yes, out and about, regular day-to-day -day noise where you're actually going to be using sunglasses, no one else can hear the music. Sure, they're not magic. They just expect it to be noisy outside. Uh, and annoyingly again, the sporty model has USB-C, claims that it's even better sound with a slimmer frame for the same money? <sighs> Why isn't that stuff on this? <laughs> and also, these are the updated model. This is the second gen. They only just came out. The JB Hi-Fi I went to, a good friend of mine works there, and he showed me on the computer that no one had bought these from that store yet. And it's still got USB-A in 2020. Although a cool thing, it actually has two microphones in it. So like phone calls, voice memos, Siri, you can use Siri with the button. Uh, they claim to reduce noises and such. So like I really put these to the test because I live right on a major road because slums. It's riddled with trucks. And so I waited for all the trucks to be lined up to be accelerating past me. And uh, I did a quick mic test for you. Standing, standing next to my road here, mate. There's always trucks going on and such, mate. So I'm a pretty good test to see. Like, how best, like, audio quality is made. Like, oh, oh, man, there's so many trucks. Well, you can't see them, but man, there's so many trucks. Oh my god, mate, so many trucks. Like, gee, Legit, there were trucks accelerating past me, like, 
That's what that wind noise was about. And you know, yeah, they don't do wind noise very well. But I wasn't even talking loud. You're not gonna record your memoirs with these. All they gotta be is understandable and audible. And dang, they did a good job. I'm telling you, that was pretty brutal circumstances that anyone else would be like, huh, what are you saying? If it wasn't for the wind noise, it actually took all the truck noises out. But I gotta say, I was actually pretty down on these at this point because like the case and the charging stinks. It's got the most annoying voice ever in it. Battery 80% connected to Dingus Pod. Like, it sounds like it was taken from a 2008 call center robot. <laughs> also, I can hear static loading Bluetoothy noises in these, but I hear that in my new iPad and MacBook as well. But my AKGs don't do that. But I, I can hear it. <laughs> Curse these ears for being able to pick up that stuff. But I ride motorbikes, and like, I always just wear sunnies inside of my lid. So I thought, what are they gonna be like on that? They were amazing. <laughs> <laughs> right, like cupping my hands, the sound was better. Under a helmet, holy nutso! Like, my bike has a radio, yeah? And these smash that! And these big square frames, they block so much wind. Amazing, like nothing in my ears. I can hear all the traffic around me, which I like. You know, a lot of us wear earplugs, but you can still hear all the traffic. But I'm hearing all that all the while Smash Mouse can't get enough of you babies playing as if it's a song stuck in my head, but I don't need to remember how it goes anymore. I can't get enough of you gravy. Uh, if you have a really snug helmet, these chunks of arms can be super uncomfortable. But, like, it is a super cool experience. It's the best they sound. Like, cyclists, the pro model, and the fact that you don't have a Harley engine in between your legs making noise, these will be sublime on bike rides. I remember when I was testing the beans and getting Getting heaps annoyed at the touch controls, the lies of the noise cancelling, and just not finding them comfortable. I stopped using them as soon as I didn't have to. Yet with these guys, they were playing music within a minute. Like after that amazing bike ride, I used them in the car, and it was it was again super fun. And then podcasts and audiobooks. Oh man, they are genius. The voice is crystal clear. You stop the car, get out, and the podcast just subtly continues. Um, I'm gushing. I, I like these. I like these. I like them. I don't know. I thought that was, they just sounded super gimmicky. I thought it was going to be the beans from my eyes. They aren't critical listening headphones. They are technically worse than dirty buds. But these hit me like my first go at VR, right? Skyrim VR has got to be one of the most low res things to be released by a AAA publisher marketed as cutting edge software. But dang it, trying that game, like hearing stuff behind you, turning and seeing it, it was so much fun. I, I played the guts out of that game. And these are giving me a similar vibe. Technically not amazing from a pure sound point of view, but the experience of literally having nothing in your ears while wearing regular comfortable sunglasses is amazing. I've tried these on so many people. My barista, my PT, the folks at the supermarket, the lovely girl who serves for me my much needed Brumbies, Cheddar Mike Scrolls, and everyone's face lit up and was just like, oh, that is super neat. Two of them are now planning on buying pairs of them. I told them how much they cost and they're like, oh, Okay. I mean, it's the best way to simulate having a song stuck in your head without needing to know how it goes. No one can hear your music when you're walking down a street outside. You hear it perfectly fine. Basically, when you use them as intended, they're super fun. They're not cheap. They're a total gadget, that's for sure. But you bet I'll be wearing these next big bike trip to deliver me some secret tunes under my brain bucket. I really hope Bose keeps this up. I hope other people jump in. <laughs> I like them. Fix the case, Bose. Come on, mate. I can't fix this. Look, it's a bean coffin. Get, go, it's your new home now. Get fine. Take all of it. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching. A huge thanks to my patrons. You know, these big stinky names here. Wait, $1 a month. I do an extra vid every week. And this week. Right, I mean, those sunglasses are very unorthodox means of listening to music. Right? We need something more traditional. We need to know how it's done the old school way and have it done right. What's a brand we can trust? You betcha it's old mate Craig. Because it's the three-in-one audio set. Earbuds, twin speakers. Headphone, just the one. Embrace death with C... Yep, those have been CGI'd on. Lovely. Got the mojo standing by, so we're gonna have a quick test of these and blow them up. I mean, uh, use them forever, because they're the best. We're blowing them up. Well, <laughs> I'll see you all next time.
Frank, did you clean your room? Did you, did you clean, don't, don't, oh, look, I'm, I didn't mean to yell at you, Frank. No, I'm sorry, don't, don't hide, Frank, don't hide from your problems. Officially hiding from her problems. Look at this, head in the sand. Like, head in the fat coils, you fatty. I love you.